Greetings all, Elle Grinnell here with True Speak, bringing you the all things happy and healthy vlog again this week. Um, this week is a little bit more serious because I really want to talk to you about hmm, some frustrations and angst that some people might be feeling around their business and their careers or even their, their personal relationships, their marriages with their kids, any of that kind of stuff. Okay, let's dive right in. I would like to share with you today the three reasons why other people seem to be more successful. Other people's coaching practices seem to be making them tons of money. Other people's marriages seem to be happy. Other people seem to have good relationships with their children and so on and so on and so on. So the first mistake that we make that um, is tip number one is to watch out for using the universal qualifiers. And I've talked about this before in a vlog on taking down the big five in regards to neuro-linguistic programming. So when we say things like everybody else is making money but me, everybody else seems to be doing fine but me, Every, okay, so the, that's a universal qualifier. To if you ever catch yourself saying, gosh, well, everybody else seems to be able to make money at this but me, then question yourself and in your head or out loud say, everybody? And the answer generally will be no, <laughs> not everybody. Especially if we live in the United States and um, a lot of other wonderful countries, um, we are doing really well. So planet-wise, when you say everybody's doing better than me, that's just a crazy statement to um, kind of unpack. Okay, so I told you we were going to be a little kind of more deeper and intense today. So watch out for those universal qualifiers in regards to judging your business and your relationships because not everybody is doing better than you. Uh, number two is to understand that there is a lot of fallacy and misdirection, smoke and mirrors, and lies, outright lies, around other people's businesses and relationships. So I personally know somebody who's a finance coach, a money money coach, and this person is living at home. They are 47 years old. They're not living at home to be helping an aging parent. They're living at home because they don't have enough money to be able to live on their own. Now, I'm not passing judgment on that person at all because we're all going through our journey and they may have some great tips and they may be a very great coach. But what I'm saying is when you're looking at how well other people are doing, a lot of times they are misdirecting you. Okay, I also know another um, book coach who's never recouped the money that they've invested on their book. And so, yes, they can help you write a book. And yes, they can help you get into the debt that they got into because <laughs> writing books are more expensive than people think. They don't have to be. But um, generally, a book is really just a, an expensive um, business card or brochure. Really, you want your book, if it is nonfiction, to be something that you monetize with a program that people people then pay you for that, not for the book. There's not a lot of money in books. Um, it, 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 well, there's exception to the rule. <laughs> I'm not going to get into that. That's not why I'm here. Okay, so the first thing is watch out for universal qualifiers. The second thing is watch out for the smoke and mirrors, lies and misdirections that people will tell you because they want you to believe they are doing better than they are. And there's some value in that. I mean, if you really consistently lean into being more valuable than what your life presents itself to be, sometimes you can really cross over that line where it now becomes your truth and it's no longer a misdirection. So there's some value in that, but that's a whole nother um, ball of wax that we can talk about on another day. Okay, and then the third thing is when you're looking at why are other people having better relationships and businesses and such than you is chances are you have no plan. You just want a better relationship, but you're really not doing anything about it. You want to be a more successful, um, you know, entrepreneur, but your business plan is kind of non-existent. Okay, so here, I guess I'm kind of chastising you. A really good plan with action steps and support will take you where you need to go. Um, so with that, I close by saying I wish you well because... When you are happier and healthier, the planet is happier and healthier. 
Um, healthy, wealthy, healed, and whole is a mantra that I often use. That's why I do this vlog because I'm here to support you in your journey to create that which you desire with grace and ease. So hop on my calendar. The, um, it's below. Um, like, subscribe, follow, share, share, share. And uh, time with me is, it's my dime because I think it's a really worthy investment. So take the time, pick up my dime, give me a call. <laughs> I'm showing my age. <laughs> Looking forward to spending more time with you soon. And until then, stay happy and healthy, my friends. Aloha always.